So uh, now what we'll do is we will look at uh, a very simple function uh, of, of Excel but then very very useful so uh, that, that function is if function and uh, let us quickly look at how we can use the if function write equals to if and then you see the the syntax of this so the first parameter is the logical test then value if true and then value if false okay so the first is the condition which is first the criteria or the condition which is checked so let's say i have a number in i1 with let's say 12 and then i write equals to if equals to if i1 is greater than equal to 10 then right now you can see the logical test the first parameter is the test whether the what you have in i1 is greater than equal to 10 now what if the test turns out to be true what do i want so i just want to write let's say yes right i just want to write it or display yes what if the test turns out to be false which is the third parameter in that case i want to write or display no okay and here it is and then i say press enter and i see yes now if i write let's say 11 still a yes 10 still a yes and then as i write 8 something which is less than uh, 10 you can see that the display now changes to no so that is what the if function is it just goes for, it just checks the log or, or checks the condition does a logical test if it is true it executes it executes what we have written as the second parameter and if the logical test turns out to be false it executes what we have what you have given as the uh, third parameter okay so that is what uh, is the if function okay now using this if function we will now look at categorizing these vendors so let's say we have this uh, uh, few vendors 12 vendors and we have quality score of these 12 vendors okay. so here are the quality scores and the vendors plus they have their location now depending on the quality score of a particular vendor we will categorize it right as either a category vendor or b or c or d and so on so First of course, then we have to decide on the criteria. So we'll say uh, category A vendor B, C, D, and then let's say till, till E. Okay. So A category vendor will be uh, you know uh, will have score greater than or equal to 60. Okay. B category vendors will have a score between 50 and 59. C category 40 to 49, D category 30 to 39, and then E category less than 30. Uh, this is what we will go. This is the this is the, the condition, the criteria for categorization. Okay, let me just uh, put it here. Yeah. Okay. So now, based on this conditions that we have just listed we will now categorize these vendors using the if function okay, so let's let's do it i write equals to if so then this logical test what is the logical test if the quality score which is in c3 if c3 is greater than equal to 6d right that's what i've given then i say a this means an a category vendor okay what if it is less than 60 now if it is less than 60 it could be the b or c or d or e i don't know which and therefore i'll have to do further tests to understand or, or decide which category this vendor will uh, you know uh, will fall into so if this logical test c3 greater than equal to 60 turns out to be false i'll have to go for another if okay so if c3 is greater than equal to <coughs> is equal to 50 okay 
then I say this is B category. What if it is not greater than 50, which means it's, it's, what if it's less than 50, then again I'll have to go for another uh, check. This time is it greater than or equal to 40? Okay, and then in this case this is C. Uh, again, if it is less than 50, uh, less than 40, I go for another test. So C3 is greater than or equal to 30. I say it is D. What if it is less than 30? Well, then we don't need any more tests. We can straight away write it is category E. And so I write E and then I close all the open brackets. So I've opened four brackets and close four. And I have the category. And this here you can just go and uh, go to the bottom right corner and just double click and you have the categorization of vendors. Okay, now 